I am uh, pregnant, very pregnant. And y'all, today, I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day. people it's melissa from choosing my health where i teach you how to easily transition to a whole food plant-based lifestyle and thrive and y'all today i'm gonna show you what i eat in a day this is really exciting to me i am uh pregnant very pregnant i'm about to pop and drop any second now uh and so i wanted to show you some healthy quick fast, very reliable, and very uh, densely nutritious meals that I rely on, especially during this time. Now, you don't have to be pregnant to eat these, right? But if you are busy and a little fatigued, uh, like you kind of just don't have the energy to cook all the time, these are very helpful meals. So we're gonna travel back to the beginning of my day and go throughout the day together as we grub. At the top of my morning, I like to start my day with about 24 ounces of water with some added mineral drops and chlorophyll. Great for antioxidants and to help support my blood system. I also use this time to dedicate my day to God. Like it really rejuvenates me, gives me peace of mind and strengthens me. A healthy lifestyle includes more than just food, right? It also um, includes having a safe place to dialogue and unload while trusting God to take care of whatever concerns you. Meditating on God's promises during my pregnancy has also put my body in a much needed restful place for me and baby. So this morning we're making vegetable juice. I don't always start my day off with vegetable juice. Sometimes it's a green smoothie, but it's definitely either or. It fuels my morning. It gives me amazing sustained energy throughout the day. And today we have beets, which is gonna help me prevent um, pregnancy anemia, which is big for a lot of women. About, I think 25% of pregnant women experience um, anemia. So the beets are gonna definitely help with that. I have some ginger over here that's gonna help with circulation throughout my body um, and definitely promote health benefits for the baby. I have some carrots over here that uh, keep my blood pressure down. And celery is gonna do the same thing, but it's a great blood purifier and it's also very abundant. Um, it, it produces a lot of juice, like it's mostly water, so it's great for stretching the juice. Then I have some kale, it's a great source of calcium and a bunch of other great, amazing things. And then really all type of leafy greens are, um, I'm just using kale today. And then I have some apple, which is gonna sweeten the deal for me and especially for uh, the kids. The kids love to juice, so while I'm making the porridge, they're going to juice. <laughs> Thank you. 
this morning we're gonna enjoy some buckwheat and oat porridge. I soaked my buckwheat and my oats overnight um, in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. You could also do lemon. I do that sometimes as well. And what it does is um, reduces the phytic acid and soaking it overnight also makes the cooking time uh, go super quick. Right here, I have the water that I'm gonna put my porridge into. This has been boiling for about five minutes. Um, I just turned it down. What it has is bay leaf, clove, and allspice stick. It's gonna infuse a lot of flavor into the porridge. And you can take the spice out now or later, it's up to you. I'm just gonna take it out now. Sometimes a couple of little cloves, you know, escape. And that's not a big deal at all. It tastes so good this way. I recommend doing like every single porridge with some sort of spice because it takes it to the next level. Then what we're going to do is take the porridge that I soaked overnight and add it to the water. I'm gonna let this come to a boil and kind of dry it a little bit, cover it, and then turn it on low, and it should be done in about 15 minutes. exercise time so many loaded benefits uh, to exercise during pregnancy there's less back aches there's a uh, better circulation in the body there's a lower risk of gestational diabetes and I'm all for all of that I ain't gonna lie though in pregnancy you do feel a little bit more you know fatigued so it's a little harder but I'm all for the benefits, so I try to fit it in when I can. And I'm gonna do a quick 15 minute exercise right before I start my projects for the rest of the day. lovely people so now I am enjoying a post-workout smoothie I put some hemp seed powder I put some banana berries ice and milk and that's pretty much it um, I love the hemp powder because it's super high in protein which is amazing for pregnancy non-pregnancy it's just amazing all around and it tastes really good so cheers It's lunchtime, and today I am feeling a yummy quinoa salad. 
Let me rummage my garden to see what I can find to add to my dish. First off, sweet potato leaves. Yup, they're actually edible and they taste a lot like spinach. They're an excellent source of antioxidants. They contain high levels of vitamin A and C, as well as folic acid and niacin. Perfect for mommy, perfect for baby. Next, we'll add some savory green onions. I planted these after getting some really nice roots from the grocery store and they've been bearing for about a year plus. Super easy to grow. Kalaloo, another green that also reminds me of spinach. Kalaloo is widely grown in the West Indies and is full of protein and tastes amazing raw or cooked. Y'all, it is hot in Texas. My garden is wilting and so am I. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a few other things. Gotta have my basil, y'all. Basil and salad is like a match made in heaven. So here's what we're gonna use in my salad from the garden, including some cherry tomatoes I found along the way. Okay, here we have some awesome tofu chunks my phenomenal husband made. He quickly marinated some tofu in coconut aminos, orange juice, fennel, chili, and maple syrup, and then he pan seared them. Got some cucumber for a nice fresh crunch, green onion from the garden, tomatoes, including a few from the garden, dates, got some red pepper right here, and shredded almonds for some nutty goodness. And this right here is some homemade tahini dill salad dressing, which includes an easy blend of cashews, lime, tahini, fresh garlic, maple syrup, a dash of sea salt, and a little water. That's all, and it is so good. Now in a large bowl, I'll now add my pre-cooked quinoa along with all of the chopped ingredients and mix them real good. So considering it's about 100 degrees today, I was in the mood for something cool, tasty, and raw. But if you're in the mood for something hot, you could quickly stir fry all of these ingredients for an amazing dish. We love it this way too. For dinner, we're enjoying some loaded sweet potatoes, one of our faves and super easy. I'm gonna quickly saute some pre-cooked black beans with some red onion, garlic, it's very hot. yellow pepper, skin is very chipotle seasoning, coconut aminos and a dash of salt. time for me to top these babies off with a bunch of goodness. Quick tip, at the top of the week, batch cook sweet potatoes and beans for endless meals of all kinds. I'll link products I use and recipes in the description box. So delicious. Listen, I'm about to enjoy this. So I really hope you enjoyed journeying throughout the day with me. Depending on what time I go to sleep, I may have an apple, maybe some dates. We'll see, we'll try to get to sleep early. You know, that's always the goal. I wanna also remind you that if you're plant-based, you could totally make this diet work for you. Two quick tips, remember to plan ahead. It's gonna help tons, even if it's just a day in advance. And number two, use whatever you got in your fridge, your pantry, your backyard. Use whatever you'd like. And if you're pregnant, I want to congratulate you and I'm praying that God gives you an amazing pregnancy and a very safe delivery, a very healthy baby or babies. 
if you are not yet a part of the CMH crew, we would so love to have you here. Please like, share, subscribe. It means so much to us. Okay, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.